Hiya, in this video I'm, I'm going to be showing you how to create your own Win 7 PE disk. Now these are rescue disks that you can use to actually uh, recover windows, fix windows problems, uh, remove malware, stuff like that. Okay, you see me use them in my videos. And this is going to be a Windows 7 version. And we're going to be using a free program called WinBuilder. Now you've seen me use this, this program before. You can come to this website here and download the version that you want now obviously if you're making XP and stuff you can download that but we're talking about Windows 7 for this uh, video so you can click on this download button here now sometimes this download button doesn't work so click on page and then this guy Chris R has made a project that you can actually use now this gives you all the settings you can actually just run it the project that he's created okay and it won't have uh, vast amounts of programs in it but it will be functional but if you want to add all your own programs and your own stuff like that you have to customize that yourself okay so he's done uh, the basic project for you so let's have a little look at a uh, wind builder and where we need to put it I've got a Windows 7 disk here and I've dragged it onto my desktop okay you're gonna need that as well what I've done is I've got it in my C drive a folder called wind builder and inside here you'll see a load of files or folders I should say and uh, you might not see all these but you will do once you create your own disk now once you've created uh, the disk it will give you all these folders now inside project or projects you can actually see uh, apps up the top there and inside here you look at portable and this is where you can put all your portable stuff okay all your portable apps and this is how you can customize it so you can whack them all in there and you've also got the actual applications now these are scripts okay you need to download these types of scripts and put them in here and this will then um, pick it up WinBuilder will pick it up and then start to install these programs okay but not all the actual scripts work so you need to make sure they work with Windows 7 PE that's why sometimes it's best to use portable apps uh, because it will work better in that sense okay so let's get started I'm going to uh, fire it up now this is the actual program itself let's uh, open this up full screen a bit now a long time ago you used to have to go to the download page and put your tick in updates and then put the tick in uh, which version you wanted and then download it all okay that's if you want to start from scratch but you don't need to do that with this one because it's an actual project okay so let's uh, go back and we're gonna have a look now all the, as I said the presets are all done for you you could just click on play now all you'd need to do is put your source in of your Windows disk and that's pretty it push play and you would have a Windows 7 PE disk but if you want to customize it as I said you would need to put in some scripts and you can customize these by clicking on them and saying if you want a, um, a desktop shortcut and so on and so on okay now also I've got my portable apps there as you can see uh, let me just open this up again you'll see portable apps portable and I've turned on uh, PStart and PAPS okay and then I've put my tick in there and I've just set up now this will allow you to put shortcuts on the desktop if you wanted to okay but I've not really done that I've just left them in there and pretty much I'm going to push play now and this will start to create the disk now what you've got to remember as well is bearing in mind that it does take a long time to build and if you've got a wrong script that doesn't work or anything like that it's going to kick an error up and it isn't going to complete so then you'd have to remove that uh, script or turn it off otherwise it just will keep giving you errors and you will never be able to complete a bit like um, ultimate boot cd for win does the same sort of thing you have to make sure that you've got all your scripts that are compatible with your build and then away you go so before you start piling loads and loads of stuff in get it working first to make sure you've got a stable version now as I said Chris R has done a project that actually works so when you start adding stuff to it you need to make sure that those actually are compatible with this build I'll pause it at this stage and let it finish off oh, one last thing there before I uh, 
before I uh, pause this you can actually see that I've actually put in there as well a wallpaper you can actually add your own wallpaper script and change your wallpapers or there's an actual uh, wallpaper part in it which can actually add your own wallpaper okay so I'll let this finish in and we'll see what the end result is like okay that's the uh, process nearly finished now what it's doing now is just packing the uh, the boot.wim file and uh, once that's complete the actual ISO will be created and then we can then boot it up and test it so I'll just let that finish off and that's uh, just creating the ISO file now it's nearly complete so we'll just let that complete off and once that's done we'll just quickly boot the ISO image up Uh, we use a uh, virtual box to test the ISO image just to make sure everything's okay and if it is then we can burn to a CD and a good thing about using portable apps is the fact that you, if you're using scripts and they don't work it will just keep giving you errors whereas portable apps if they don't work they just they just won't work in the actual application so you can just discard that so we'll let this finish off now now because this is a Windows 7 version this is going to be very good for the future computers now if you was building obviously um, a 32-bit this is a 32-bit version for 64-bit versions you'd need to obviously make another one for 64-bit as well um, so that's pretty much that. What I'm going to do now is fire this up in uh, VirtualBox so I'll just shut that off and get that prepared so once we've uh, completed that all we need to do now is go back to our WinBuilder folder and in our ISO folder here you'll see uh, 1.8 gigs or something like that it was uh, ISO image that's the one we're going to be booting up on so I'll just quickly uh, sort that out okay so that's uh, all set up now and what I'll do is I'll just fire this up now you're going to get this this is the beginning of it just leave that running that's in case you want to use a mem test but I'm just going to let the rest load in takes a bit of time to load up and this will load a lot faster because it's running uh, on a virtual box so it shouldn't be as long okay as I said you can change your own wallpaper and put your own little logo on there and do what you like Okay, so that's now loaded in as you can see so that and this is just now doing the uh, networking so you can actually use the internet and once we've done that we'll have a little look around okay here we have the actual loaded in uh, CD and then from there as you can see we have now got internet access also got a lot of useful software we've got uh, programs to help you find out what you've got in the system uh, we've got red shot also got C cleaner programs like this uh, easy PC fix all these work okay like so great piece of kit this um, to have this working on Win 7 as well and also we've got uh, AVZ um, antivirus toolkit now if you want to do portable apps again you can come down here and you'll see some other programs here as well if you come down to um, networking these are the ones that, uh, I've put in by scripts and stuff um, using the scripts that I found so, uh, search and uh, destroy there 
spy bot search and destroy um, a few other things there so let's have a little look at the uh, portable web side of things again this can be as many as you like or as little as you like uh, again you can just add them in okay so we've got I mean pretty much uh, super anti spyware works fine here uh, that's not a portable app that was a script I used let me just quickly show you that just a uh, where are we oh yes yeah, this one without the icon so you'd be able to get that with a script uh, malware bytes I've seen a lot of people having problems with malware bytes uh, you can get it working uh, it doesn't spy, super anti spyware and uh, malware bytes doesn't work very well in this environment anyway so why people keep going on about it in a, in a way that they must have it it won't get rid of as many as uh, it would do in a normal environment so just bear that in mind we've got unhack me they work okay uh, great piece of kit that um, we've got spyware terminator uh, team viewer another great piece of kit to use if you're gonna be doing remote control from from this environment you can do that you can change the wallpaper as well um, on the uh, program so let's go back spy DLL remover this is a really good piece of software and uh, process explorer we've got recover my files, regcure, uh, rootkit programs uh, backup, revo and installer uh, again another piece of good software works fine and uh, malware bytes I'll just sh quickly show you malware bytes and I think that'll be enough I think you've seen that most of them are working okay well all of them are working okay uh, we've got nod32 there uh, malware bytes and you'd have to do the update and I think this is where people are having problems uh, it normally crashes or gives you an error message you let this update gives you a big update install it and then from there it will run okay okay um, that's what I've been doing and it's been working fine um, again uh, file assassin and pretty much I think that'll be it really got a load of other stuff there but I'm not going to go through them all but as you can see pretty much a very useful CD to have in your CD wallet if you're into being a PC tech or something like that then this is a must have um, especially if the PC is non bootable or something like that or you need to recover data then this is a good way of doing it if the PC doesn't boot and you're on the site so I hope you enjoy these videos if you do remember hit the subscribe button guys show your support and hit that subscribe button I've got over 6,000 subscribers now so thanks to everyone who's uh, subscribed if you have not joined the forum the link is down below join the forums and uh, become part of the community and uh, if you want to copy of this CD by all means uh, hit, the, hit the subscribe button again and get on the forums post the link say I'd like that um, Win 7 pe disc if you can got it and I will give you a link to download it so thanks again for watching guys my name is Brian from brightech.co.uk thanks again bye for now